I've completed this particular project and in this video I'm going to show you how I designed this system ranging from the schematic diagram which I did using the proto simulation software down to the PCB layout of the project which I already have here and finally to the 3D visualization which I still have here now in this video I'm going to show you how I was able to design this particular circuit on my proto simulation software and having the GABA file sent to JLCPCB from China which they have manufactured this particular board for me and sent back to me here in Nigeria to be able to assemble this project just as I designed it. Let's get into it. Alright, so here we are on the Pro 2 simulation software and I'm going to guide you on this part of this video on the schematic capture, I mean the work I did on the schematic capture which I have over here and also um, the conversion of this schematic diagram or this circuit down to a PCB layout which I have over here and finally having it visualized on a um, 3D visualization, 3D model for the project so these these are the things i'm going to be sharing with you on this part of the project and if you stay tuned you're going to get on this part of the project so clear as i will try as much as possible to explain everything in details okay so let's start with the schematic capture so for the schematic capture uh, we are just building a system that will uh, monitor or will i say compare um, the voltage in between the three phase which are basically the red phase yellow phase and the blue phase so for my project or for the uh, indication of this project I'm using RO for anything uh, red line this is B that is B line and then yellow so I'm just using it just for further indication and I made the sake in such a way that um, one could easily understand exactly all I've done because these lines like uh, GPIO pin 02, GPIO pin 03, GPIO pin 04 is further connected here so you can see it here so for red line that is the red phase the 5 volt output goes to GPIO pin 2 which is in line with what I have here then for um, blue line we have GPIO pin 3 going to um, GPIO pin 3 of the Juno board and same for what I have here so you just have to be so conscious of um, the connection and the wiring which I've done so let's take a look at this so just for um, for example what I have here this positive line of the um, of the relay trigger point is connected also to this input for the red phase so you can see the naming so this particular name indication is also reflected on the PCB layer so I don't need to necessarily let's say connecting this wire down to this part so let me just try doing something okay so I could just place this in wire connection and then okay So have it I can actually do so so since I want to limit the numbers of wires running through the circuit so I use this particular um, value notation for all of this and these are the things you're going to be seeing across TCC T5 so you just have to find the next place you're going to see TCC again so these are just the notation I use while running this particular project I'm not going to discuss how the project works full in details because I've already built this particular project and you can see it on the notification bar on the screen where you could um, um, go back to after this particular video to see how I explain everything how the three phase automatic changeover system work and I also tested it using a real life um, load so I haven't completed this part of the project the next thing I did was to go to my PCB layout I picked out the component myself placed it in the strategic point of which I want them and then went I didn't connect I connected very few few lines and then um, I went over here to run uh, auto route so computer by its own um, um, design completed the wiring for myself so I just have to like carry out very few strategic changes uh, for some lines I intend to make some adjustments so after doing this then I have the 3d visualization which shows me exactly how my board will look like just as I have it and it's so cool to have this part of the project working and 
shortly after now we are going to look at the code so that uh, i could just maybe drop a little bit of insight on how i related the code alongside with the schematic diagram in order to have everything work out just as i tested as i'm going to test in this video all right so for the code for this project this is um um, the code for the project and I tried as much as possible to use comments where necessary just to ensure that one could actually develop this system by itself if they um, intend to replicate exactly the design I've made. Alright, so this is just the same thing I just pointed out. So I tried to ensure that the pin, just like I have a red face input, blue face input, yellow face input. So this numbering is something I tried as much as possible to maintain also in um, the schematic diagram just as I showed here P GPIO pin 2, GPIO pin 3, GPIO pin 4 so all of these are further uh, are further considered while uh, running these kind of things just the same thing I have for the output pin red face out, blue face out so I just try to use some um, related um, naming system just to have these variables well explanatory for anyone that will be building up on it so the project is so simple about 200 lines of code which one could actually um, get to study and also make further changes if need be uh, for them and uh, as I said more details about this code or like say more explanation on this, this on the on the code on the video which I have also attached on the video description for anyone to look up on after this video so having done this all I did was to now generate my GABA file so let's get back to um, the proto software so to generate my GABA file I simply went over here output generate GABA file then uh, when I run this, the system will be able to run a test to confirm um, if whether there is or there are errors on uh, on my wiring. Just as I have a uh, um, DRC not turned on, so this is an error I still need to fix. And um, there are a lot of things um, that um, the test process gets to indicate for a particular user to show you um, things to change, things to likely look out look out for. So I could I could actually go over here check some of the things and then make adjustment but for me i don't need to make any changes just right here on this video i just want to show you maybe what to do maybe when you try running uh, something similar to this so when i press close the thing can now I'll, I'll click click yes to have it generate the gaba file i've already generated the gaba file so the next thing i have to do now is go to jlucpcb so i just type jlucpcb okay so i go over to their website so let me go back to my gaba file so over here i have the gaba file for this project three phase automatic changeover system so this is the gaba file for this project so let's have to, we we just have to keep the gaba file in the position where we could actually assess them um such that we could actually um upload it in jlc pcb website so i'll just go over here and then click order now and prior to clicking order is expected that one must have signed up with them which i've already done for myself so um, by doing so i could now add gaba file so i go over to the document file see the gaba file three phase auto, auto um, three phase adjunct change of our system i click it open need to upload all right it's uploaded so just as you can see this is the front um, layer and then this is the back layer so and as well I can also change the color for um, the design so when I change the color this is exactly how it's going to look like so there are a lot of colors I could actually decide to change and after doing so I can now save to my cart so when I save to my cart I will then go through and make the payment using my uh, mobile banking card which I'm not going to be doing now since I've already done that and they will tell you how long this is going to take about three days if i'm building upon this particular type of color so just to make things a lot more easier just go with green which takes about 24 hours or two days in in total so it takes two days if you're using the green layer for this and having done that you save to your cart and then uh, make the payment just for the whole process and after i've done this i waited to receive my printed circuit board 
Three days later, I received my order from China and I must say the quality of the board is good and I can't wait to start my assembly. I assembled all other components that I'm going to be using for this project build, which I'm going to be mounting on the PCB board. I will now use the Atmega chip, which is commonly found in the Arduino Uno board for this build. Cutting out the board seal up, I had my 5 board piece which is now ready for use. Setting up the PCP board on my base, I'm now ready to start soldering the components. I started off by soldering the discrete electronics components, just as I have them looking just like this. Completing the soldering, I have other components ready for mounting on the PCB board. This is the final result as I'm now ready to round off the code and upload it in the microcontroller. You can spot the uniqueness of PCB board over PEV board assembly as it took me less than few minutes to assemble the project unlike the one I made using my PEV board. The one I made using the PEV board took over an hour to complete. To test the project, I connected the battery clip to the battery terminal as I'm ready to test the phase line using the transformer system. Powering the device, I have the system initialized and just as you can see, all the phase are off. Using the 12 volt AC line from the secondary line of the transformer, I tested each phase and got the line switch relays respectively. The next test that I'm going to make will be to detect the priority switching which is programmed onto the code. The blue line is the least priority and as it is running, I connected the yellow line to the source as I have the line output move to the yellow line. Connecting the red line, the relay is switched to the red phase as it is the primary priority just as you can see as I toggle with each line with respect to the blue line. The project is completed and I'm glad at the outcome. You can check on the project which I'm going to publish shortly as I had it developed to switch power from different power sources such as the grid line, the solar line or the generator. Don't forget to click the subscribe button if you have not yet done so and hit the notification button in order to personally get notified when I make upload on this new project. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you on the next project. Do have a blissful day.